Yo, Scopies. I did promise that I'd be back tonight. Uh, I promised. So here I am. We're sitting in the Acura. It's me, Ricardo, and Eddie. Finishing up. Hey, guys. What up? What up? Um, we didn't actually test to see if the receiving part of the firmware worked. So we might have to wait, make some firmware changes on the fly too. Oh, yeah. Hey, don't worry. The scopies, the scopies are down to chill. Welcome to coding with comma. Be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Subscribe though. You don't want to miss Sunday Scopy this weekend. It's big Sunday Scopy. I mean, it's not that big. We're just gonna make. We're just gonna. We're gonna discuss the. Boom. Oh, it's it's updated upstream. Nice. Okay. So see this wire Scopies. This is from the comma pedal. By Scopies. Down there. Eddie's out. Um. Yeah. So this is from the comma pedal down there. No, we're not driving. We're not. There's a tree. You can't really see it too well. We've got some more lights in here. Um. Here's our nice screen. Get some code. Yeah, we're coding and chilling, y'all. So we plug this in here and we hope the canvas doesn't short. Yeah, so this is this is the high quality cable. There's a bug on the board, minor bug, but we fixed it by cutting wires. So if you notice with the comma pedal, the pedal still works. And this is gonna work? Uh 20%. Alright, alright. Oh yeah! yeah! Check it out, my foot's all up, my foot's all up here, you can see my foot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds good, man. So with the common pedal, you can use the joystick. Actually, I'm not sure it gets to 100%. It doesn't get... Oh, no, 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 the car was doing that before. It doesn't... Uh, okay. I, I was like, why isn't it revving to 7K? It doesn't rev to 7K when you step on it, and then I was like, oh, maybe the pedal is cutting it out? But no, it's not that. It's because we're having park, so it has like protection. I think it has protections in park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the pedal? Well, the pedal is down here. You can't really see anything. Um, wow, that iPhone, I thought it was better than a little light. Let's see, can I get a flashlight on? Uh, how's the screen mounted? Ugh, many years ago, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can rev the pedal with a joystick. That's what the comma pedal does. Watch those yeah, revs. Okay, so there is one thing. We're reading yeah. pedal pressed and it's not pressed. Oh, that's probably just because that changes uh, from car to car. Right? Like, that's a calibration parameter. Yeah. Why are we reading? We're reading oh, five, six. we're reading pressed? We're reading pressed and uh, the, the value is like 5, 6. So, so it's right to step on interesting so what is it normally so you're telling me this pedal has a slightly different uh mm. it learns can you do that remotely yeah sort of um but now we can do it more directly okay so you're saying that this is not the zero value no well so it's, it's basically i'm reading five percent i think and the car is always reading five percent now yes wait, wait wait where are you getting that five uh, from 201. No, 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 but that's okay. That's fine. Uh, mm, what is yeah. the car gas reading if you run like can dumper? Right? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were telling me that. No, 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 that's yeah, fine. Yeah. The, the zero position of a pedal changes over time, actually, and it has to learn it. Right, so I think I need to tune it then. Yeah, uh, there's just say. a number that, that, like, zero is just, this, that, yeah. that five is just like a fake made up thing. I think it's actually always been that way, too. So you can look there in. Oh, did you think that zero was actually zero? Well, yeah, well, in before, bef well, that's kind of the logic that we were doing before, yes. Uh, so because in the DBC file, we apply an offset that was the offset that was making it zero. Are you applying the same offset still? Uh, yes, that was applied like in the old board. Oh, I don't think I'm applying anything in the board. You want to read the firmware? Mm, yes. Yes, yeah, so you want to hold the scope piece? Hold, yes. Check the firmware? Let's take, uh, we need to compare the firmware with, uh, with the DBC file. Well, I don't really want to like put things like this on the firmware, really. I think this is by design. Mm -hmm. um, so you you guys will actually see the firmware already shipped to one Panda board pedal. Well, not one, that's ours, but just Panda board pedal. Um, so I read the ADC. How does the pedal work and miss the last scope? Oh, how does the pedal work? Well, um, so, let's 
see, this is where I sent. Can check some dat. No, I just send I just send the values from the ADC. Okay. I don't do any offset applying in the or, front. Yeah, it's done in the DBC then. We shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I don't think, when you're parsing that, is that using the DBC or not? It is using the DBC, yes. Okay, so let's see what it says the zero value is. Let's just do the math out. So if I look here at the 201, I'm getting like hex 160. So... 352. And then let's look at the DBC. DBC. So, you know, you guys use open DBC, same as all y'all. Acura ILX. Yeah, um, generate. Um, yeah, so, 201. Well, that's hex 201. So, that's 513. Five, uh, 513. Yeah. Um, okay, so it's getting minus 83 after I divide by that this. thing, exactly. So it's Wait. close, right? Oh no, I multiply by that. Let's see if it's close. That's actually, yeah, I think it's 89. Yeah, I don't know. I would just update well, that's that. Well, that's the difference, right? Yeah, that's why we read six. So. Yeah, yeah. But um, I mean, the pedal then has physically changed on the car. That, that's all I can say, right? Because otherwise, why else would this happen? Or the microcontrollers aren't calibrated well, and the different microcontroller has a different. Yes. But I mean. Honestly, that should kind of be learned, because that's how the car does it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, but well, how how do you learn it? How do you know what zero is? Yeah. Well, you can compare it to car gas. It's actually really easy. Well, yes, you don't even so really yeah. Because car well, but okay. If it says car gas is zero, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we can do that. Then it's zero. You can calibrate it with respect to car gas, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, honestly, we should just update it for this and see if it drifts some more. I, I wanna, we don't know whether it's the pedal that's changed over time or whether the new comma pedal has a different offset value. Yeah. Um, uh, you know what else it could be? The clock rate has changed. Uh, I don't know. Let's just change it for now. Yeah, that's fine. And then what do you mean the clock good. rate has changed? This pedal is built a bit differently than the other one. Okay. The other one was also jankier. Let's, um, it's an analog signal. Let's wait till we have Oshpark ports. And then you can calibrate it for that for now. And then we'll test like five different common pedals once we get a few. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. yeah. And so, okay, but so is there like a problem, like if it drifts? Like, do you see drifting problem? No. Not not over any sort of time. Yeah, this guy said the car doesn't really care much, plus minus 100 millivolt. Um, but yeah, so if you guys see the 201 there, and you can all read this firmware, um, you're gonna see that it's gonna go up and with a step on the gas. That one right in the middle there, 201, goes up. Um, yeah, I'll do the video. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Change it for this value, and then we'll test it across five common panels. We'll fight, figure out if it's the pedal or yes. the thing, just so yes. you know. So for um, now, I can just put like 89, or was like yeah, 90. Yeah, yeah. I, I should put like a little more, right? I'd, Slightly I'd, more. Put, if you're actually checking for equals zero. Well, I check, yeah, it needs to be greater than zero, basically. Yeah. Right, I check for greater than zero. So, um, Scopies, the reason we're discussing this is because we want to detect if the user presses the pedal because we disengage on a gas press. Um, and when the computer's pressing the pedal, the way that we usually detect it using car gas is still true. So you have to distinguish the user from the computer. And now the comma pedal actually looks like it's, uh, it just looks like it's the user. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. I'll just update for that for now and update the machine. Yeah, we'll update that. I mean, that's honestly, I kind of shouldn't be an open DBC. In the first place, well, I think uh, we should it, we should separate it. Like, yeah, it should probably be in OpenDBC, but it shouldn't be in like since now we have the generator, we yeah. should have a different file which is like a comma specific messages, and then when yeah. we how to generate the the file. And so. even when we auto generate when we auto generate the file called Acura ILX, we shouldn't put the pedal interceptor in there, right? Well, we I, can we can put it in a special section, or we can we, yeah. Can we, we can, can sure. we load two DBC files? What if we just do that? Uh, we can load the DBC, like we can change the parser DBC files and then we merge that in CAM parser that, instead of that. Uh, sounds, that right? sounds better. Um, where is comma army? Yeah, we don't want to have to add 201 to every DBC. I think what we should do is just have like special pedal inners, like comma, comma hardware DBC. Yes. Yeah. Guys, and this is a note to all the car manufacturers out there. 
201 is ours. <laughs> so sure. Don't even think about it. We use 200 and 201. Trademark. <laughs> See, we, we send... Let's say we send 200. And that's what rows the power. But notice how 201 doesn't change when we do that because that's being applied after the comma pedal. If you don't know what the comma pedal is, check the previous periscope. But I did promise that you guys would see a working comma pedal tonight. And I press on this joystick and the car revs. So, quick periscope. Thank you for joining. Do I know who that is? No. You already used, started using 203. That's fine. It's not 201. Don't use 201. That one's ass. All right. Thank you for joining in the follow-up scopey. We do make things work. We ship. We're Comet AI. Make sure to go right now on your Periscope and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Got to hit that subscribe. Uh, Comet Pedals, never for sale, but we'll be open source next week. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. All right. Nice. Comet Pedals.